Hey everybody, welcome to the sixth episode of Art Club Quarantine Edition. Uh, it's been 43 days that I've been in my house. It's a long time. Uh, today's word of the day, heterochromia. It's a pretty sweet word. Um, if we break the parts down, hetero means different, chroma means color. So it's the condition of having two different colored eyes. And Lawrence, I almost did sesquipedalia as my word of the day, so you were like reading my mind there. Sesquipedalia means long-winded or multi-syllabic, so fancy word for big words. Uh, yeah, so what have we been up to? Stuff. Um, <laughs> in this live stream, I challenged my middle schoolers to send me their best pet photos, and I chose the top three that I thought were going to be fun for me to draw or paint. And I did myself a favor and started them a little bit more in depth than I have been in my past live streams because I realized that doing three paintings in an hour is a tall order. So I started them. I got a little further than I was planning, so my apologies on that one. Uh, I got excited and I had a hard time stopping and then I realized how far I was and I was like, whoa, back off. Um, yeah, so we've got three pets that we are going to be working with today. Well, actually, before I get to the pets, I told you all in my last live stream that I would show you the finished version of what I was working on. So. I got this um, from my social media challenges, your draw your first photo together. I was having a heck of a time getting it to look that great uh, <laughs> during the live stream, so thankfully it has been resolved since then. I feel a little bit better about it. I really feel like it was just this line right here that was making my face look weird. And yeah, so that's me and my husband, our first photo together from our first date, so to speak, when we uh, stuck googly eyes all over our faces. <laughs> yeah, so that's happening. All right, so pets. Let's talk about pets. I have pets. One of them just puked on the stairs. Those darn pets, you know. All right, here are a couple pets. Uh, first, we have Deke, otherwise known as Nico from Lydia. Very cute pupper. I'm excited to finish this painting. Um, off to this side, we've got Eli from Lenny. Eli the lizard, also excited. Lots of textures in that one. Um, but, okay, this is making me really sad because I cannot find my masking fluid to do this how I wanted to, and I'm really bummed about it. <laughs> So we're just gonna have to make do with other materials. Um, so usually with masking fluid what I would do is like paint it on before. I painted with my watercolors to like block out areas that I wanted to stay white. And uh, yeah, so I can't find it and I'm sad. Uh, <laughs> so instead I'm just gonna maybe go in with a white colored pencil or a white gel pen to add in some details later if I need to. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to add a few more um, watercolor washes over these and then we'll get to the third um, pet that we're doing and that's Jacob's. I see you in the chat. His very adorable cat. Rest in peace. I was so sad to hear your story, Jacob. Um, that's why I chose your pet because it made me so sad and I want him to live on forever. Okay, <laughs> so let's go what am I about to do oh yes I was going to paint some more background a little bit because I like it and I want it to be there <laughs> you know that's a good reason because I like it um, yeah so I'm just using some watercolor um, it's really funny because my watercolor uh, like the cap broke sad day and then it all dried out this stuff's so expensive that I was like, I don't want to waste that. So I just perform surgery on it so I can use it. <laughs> That's one way to do it. All right. So I'm just going to add a little more background just for some contrast in here.
And actually, now that I'm adding this really dark brown, I realize that I actually really enjoyed the reddish brown. So I think I'm going to go back in and add some more of that over it. It's been a long time since I've uh, done a pet portrait, so got a little bit of learning uh, curve to get back into it, but it's okay. I'm going to mix a little bit of blue with my reddish brown because I think it adds like a nice effect when I do that. Yes, painting fur is also much harder when you don't have the masking fluid because you have to like paint around the fur. <laughs> it gets kind of difficult. That's okay. I like a challenge. Makes it fun. All right. Oh, which brown was I using earlier? You could use some Italian burnt sienna. Make it real fancy. Ooh, yes. Because I really liked the orange of the uh, little bandana. And I thought it would be fun for the background to have kind of a complementary color scheme. So we have the blue and the orange to kind of bounce off each other and create some contrast. if I want to add any more blue on the top. I actually kind of like the effect that it has right now. It's been feeling pretty good. Alright, scars. How long have I been doing this art for? Well, these pet portraits in particular I started this morning and I worked on them for maybe an hour and a half ish. So, you know, that much time. I'm gonna turn this around a little bit here. Um, but art in general, I don't know, forever, always. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, Eli, the lizard. Um, what do I need to do before I can start details on the lizard? lizard. Let's see. I need some colors. I'm really digging the background that I did on here makes me happy. It's nice colors. Maybe I'll just continue this color trend throughout here. Hmm. Maybe kind of a greenish yellow. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. So we'll just kind of plop this in and then let it dry. Maybe I'll throw a little orange in at the bottom just to make it extra exciting. I was so glad that someone gave me an animal that wasn't a cat or a dog. I mean, I love cats and dogs, but, you know, we need some variety, right? Gotta, gotta, you know, keep you on your toes. Make it exciting. Oh, Jacob. I hear you. I can't wait to go back to school too. I miss you all. <laughs> it is no fun being at home all the time. It's pretty lonely. At least I have my cats to keep me company. Ellie, I'm sorry, Ellie. 
Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna let these, wait, actually, I'm gonna add a little orange. Wow, I have it. Clang, clang, clang. I have lots of paints that are a bit clangy. A bit jammy. Oh, I make references nobody knows. It's so sad. Y'all gotta watch Eddie Izzard. They're a comedian. Very funny. Makes a lot of British jokes. Uh, let's see here. Gonna make some little scalies around Ellie's eyes. Yeah, see, I really wanted the masking fluid for this one because I thought it would be much easier to get the texture of these little pointy scales and stuff. But unfortunately, it has disappeared like many things in my house. <laughs> ah. So I'll just have to be a lot more careful with my painting. And then also go in with a bunch of stuff later to make that happen. Okay. Oh, now we're getting some texture. That's good. Oh, my pet has joined me. Lapis, do you want to say hello to everyone? Come here. <laughs> hey, look, it's Lapis. Isn't he so precious? He's a fancy feast. What a special boy. And he really does not like being held. <laughs> oh, well. He'll get over it. Now he's just crabby. <laughs> My other cat like had to sit with me while I was drawing these and it was really obnoxious. It made my life a little difficult to be honest. But he just has to be up in my business, you know? Oh, there's Doodle. Oh, he's a noisy cat. Okay, I'm gonna paint this and then I'm gonna grab Doodle. He'll probably want to come sit with me. Doodle. Come on. Are you camera shy, buddy? Come on. Psst, psst, psst. Meow. Oh, they just all got to see what's going on. Oh. Uh. What's my favorite animal? Um, that's a really challenging question. Uh, if it comes to things that make me just stop whatever I'm doing and be like, oh my god, and just like freak out, uh, penguins. I like love penguins. They make me want to die with happiness. Because <laughs> they're just so awkward and I love them. Um, but clearly I can't have a penguin for a pet. So, second best corgi. I want a corgi, but I don't have a yard, so my husband thinks we can't have one because they'd have nowhere to go outside. <sighs> so I'll just have to deal with my cats instead. They're still cute. I still like them. <laughs> okay, Lenny, I am going to be painting this for like decades. Uh, but that's okay. Because it's fun. I'm just saying. It's going to take a long time. <laughs> I should speed up so that I can get to the other animals and things too. Because, you know, you all deserve your time. Granted, Jacob, your cat, I like almost finished it on accident. <laughs> 
Didn't mean to. Just got carried away. And then I realized that I did way too much. I also really love what my paint did right here. Uh, it's called granulation. It's really exciting. Uh, it's when the pigments in the paint kind of separate as the water dries. And it's one of my favorite things um, about watercolor. I love it. Uh, and that's probably why I do watercolor all the time. Um, because I just really like pigments and how they kind of work in an artwork. Uh, yeah, I also really like rocks. It's kind of a thing that's never really changed since I was a little kid. Like I would collect rocks. I still have a collection of rocks because I'm a nerd. But like most of my paint here is made out of like actual like pigments, like real natural pigments. So they were like ground up from stones and minerals and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, let me think of an example here. So this paint right here is made up of ground up amethyst, which is awesome. And this is made out of garnet, also awesome. Uh, what else do I have? Tiger's eye, um, zoocyte, that one's fun. Uh, sodalite, that's actually one of my favorite paints, period, just because it's such a nice blue. So yeah, I don't know. I love paint. Paint's just so much fun. I just love it. I just love it. I get so excited. Um, okay, yellow. Sorry. Still painting. <laughs> let's let's add some little textury things here. I think I'm probably going to do most of the texture on this with colored pencil later. Because it'll go faster. If I were to do it all with watercolor, I think it would take like a lifetime. Not a lifetime, but you know, a while. <laughs> Longer than the hour that I am doing this live stream. <laughs> I just love all these little scales. There it is, so much fun. Okay. What's my favorite color? Um, chartreuse. If it's paint, uh, it's this one right here, which is serpentine, genuine. It was ground up from a rock that's also green. I need brown. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I forget what I'm doing. What do I think is better to draw with? I don't know. I think it depends on what I'm feeling. I usually just start with pencil, but I've been into inking things lately with pens. Uh been pretty fun. Ooh, that's enjoyable. Uh, I'm not a big fan of charcoal because I hate the texture. Like anything chalky, it's not my favorite. I appreciate other people that do things with charcoal, <laughs> very much so, but I just can't get over the texture to do it myself very much. It's not really my jam, um, but yeah. I don't know. I like pencil. It's good. But if I were to pick just any kind of media to work with all the time, definitely watercolor because I just like it. It's funny because I used to hate it. I used to think it was like for little kids. Like, who does that? Only little kids use watercolor. And then I learned I was terribly wrong. <laughs> uh the blue tape that I'm using it's just painters tape like the kind used to put around walls when you're painting I ran out of my fancy artist tape so this is what I had <laughs> I've been going through a lot of art supplies lately so I'm running out of things I'm feeling pretty good about this. Lenny, I hope you are also feeling pretty good about this. You got a pretty sweet lizard. 
Is it a horn? Horn lizard? I don't know what it is. Tell me what it is if you're still on the chat. Who is it? What is it? Can you see the pictures the paintings are based on? Yes. Here is Ellie, the lizard. I changed the position of the tail a little so that it would work with the composition a little bit more. I hope you don't mind. Uh, then what do we have? So when I was little, I really wanted a, a lizard or a snake. That was like something I was very into at the time. And I kept like begging my parents for like a gecko or something. And my, uh, my grandma got me a hermit crab instead. <laughs> and I was like, oh, not really the same thing. <laughs> Uh, it, was, it was a major letdown. I was sad about it. Because they're just stinky and they pinched my finger and I was sad. Uh, yeah, hermit crabs are not a good uh, substitute for a lizard. <laughs> oh, Caden. I am 100% Ravenclaw all the way. Whip before measure is Grant. Er, is. Yeah, it's greatest treasure. I'm trying to say that too fast. <laughs> I feel like you should know that already. I feel like we've discussed that at regular art club. <laughs> How could you not remember? I also tend to make a lot of noises when I'm painting like sound effects for my brush strokes <laughs> you know I gotta keep myself interested if there's no music to sing along to I wish I could be playing music right now but then I'd have copyright infringement and that would be sad wah, wah. Okay, I'm gonna take a pause here on Ellie and we're going to hop over to Dozer the cat. <gasps> Look at this precious kitten. So this is Jacob's kitten, Dozer. Very precious. Look at that. And he told me that Dozer died not too long ago and that made me very sad. And so I have to paint this cat plus this pose is like the cutest thing I've ever seen so hence why we we're painting this so I I went I got a little carried away and did a little more than I was intending here and so I got further than I was planning to but that's okay I guess at the speed that I'm going right now um you know I'll never be done <laughs> so let's Let's paint the background, and then I will paint other things. Let's have a nice blue. And because I don't have masking fluid, I have to make fur. This is very awkward, but that's okay. We make do. Yeah, of course you remember, and then you still have to, like, ask me. You just want to talk about Harry Potter on a live stream. <laughs> oh, these little paws. I just can't even. I 
don't know why I'm making pow noises when I'm doing this, but it feels right. I need some onomatopoeia. So my friend pointed out this guy who does this like just ridiculous rap songs about like ridiculous things. It's this album called Kids Trap. He's got like multiple volumes of it. It's hilarious. Uh, but he has a song called I Love Kittens. It's got some like fat beats to it. But that he's just like rapping about kittens and it's hilarious. And so then I decided I needed to look up his other songs and he has a song about onomatopoeia too which is pretty great because then he raps and spells the word onomatopoeia which i think is quite impressive to be honest because that's a mouthful of word to say and spell to be honest like i had to look up how to spell it and i'm like spelling bee champion man it's a tough one it's because it's the poia not just pia Oh, look at that background. It's so nice. I love it. Kittens. Uh, I don't know how the cat died. I was not privy to that information. Sorry. You'll have to ask Jacob. Okay. Let's add some more details. Because that's where I told myself I had to stop. Because I was getting really into it. And I mixed up this really nice color. I'm trying to remember what I used. Tiger's Eye. See, it's a cat reference. OMG. And. Oh, what did I use? Maybe it's this one. I don't even remember what color this is. Let me look at my color chart. Oh, of course it's covered up by a painting. It's another fancy color, you know. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at these little eyebrows. There's something about cats like this. I don't even know. Are they part Siamese? They're part something. They just make me want to die. They're just so cute. Can't handle it. <laughs> Too cute. Oh, he got ran him over. Poor buddy. That's so sad. That's a sad day.
So what's pretty cool is right now I'm doing a technique called dry brushing. So my paint is really dry and my brush is pretty dry too. And it is working really nicely with the paper that I'm using. So the paper that I have right now is kind of rough. And so when it puts it all together, it creates this really nice texture that almost feels like fur as I'm working. So that's actually treating me pretty well right now. Except that my paint is getting a little too dry and I'm starting to run out of it. Um, but yeah, something that's really cool about the paints that I'm using, you know, since they're kind of that natural pigment, um, as they start to kind of dry on my palette, they get like, I don't know, it has the same sort of feel as like mud as it starts to dry. It's a sort of like crusty feeling, so to speak, but it's, I don't know, it, it works really well for what I'm doing right here. Uh, let's get this little stripey here. You must miss him a lot. That would be a sad thing. I can't imagine if that happened to my kittens. I would just be, I don't know, beside myself. Oh, what is my favorite animal to draw? I feel like you probably already know this one too. Obviously dinosaurs, clearly. But, I don't know, this cat right now is coming in a close second. I'm enjoying this. these little stripes. I'm dying. They're just so cute. Ugh, the only thing I don't like about dry brushing is that it like really kind of messes up my brushes. That's a little much. Let's tone it down. My bristles get all split. Janky. I don't like it. But the texture is so good that I just have to get over it. Do I play video games? Not really. Uh, the only video game that I play 
and that I enjoy playing is Tetris. I'm really good at Tetris. <laughs> I don't really enjoy playing video games other than Tetris. I guess the last time I played a game with any sort of effort other than Tetris would be uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater when I got a PlayStation when I was in like seventh grade. <laughs> so was that yeah, 1998, rocking it. That's about the last time I played video games with any kind of regularity. <laughs> but honestly, I think I played that game mostly for the music. <laughs> Lapis have like the cutest meow in the world. Just dying. Meow. Meow meow. Meow. <laughs> How long will it be for what? Until I'm done? I don't know. Uh, when I'm done. Could be like five minutes. Could be three hours. Just depends on how I'm feeling. Lapis, are you noisy? I love the kind of blue undertones in this kind of cat. It's fun to add that into a painting. Now I'm using Vivianite, aka Blue Ochre. It's those natural pigments, man. They're just so good. So good. like little hints of brown throughout. What is my favorite thing to draw? Hmm. In the past, I would have said people, but I feel like I've gotten bored with that because I have done it for so many years. I mean, I still do enjoy drawing people, just not as much as I used to. I'd say now, fire, definitely fire and rust. It's just something about like the colors and the textures of those things that I really enjoy. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here with Dozer for a little bit, and then we're going to move back to Nico slash Deke, both names of the dog. All right, so I haven't shown you that picture. Let's grab it. What a special pupper. It got wet, so my ink's all messed up, but... That's okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start adding in some more textures in the fur here, I think. And I'm going to be using, I think, the same, well actually, no, I'm gonna add in some 
Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray is like probably my favorite and or most used watercolor, I think, or at least this mixture that I'm making right now. Uh, it's Van Dyke Brown and Payne's Gray. Basically, it makes black, <laughs> uh, but a really nice black, a, like a rich, like not just black, black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's got it's got character to it, which you know, plain old black is boring, but this has depth to it. makes it just seem like there's a little more going on and that's why I like it so much oh and Pupper's got some nice little eyelashes OMG eyelashes on a dog so fancy Maybe I won't even add any colored pencil into this. I don't think I need to. Getting my details here. It's good. It's all good. This little mouse. It's so cute. There's like one whisker that we can see. Oh, maybe two. Okay, there's another one. What's the hardest part to draw when I'm drawing a person? Mmm, hands. Hands are hard. I don't like drawing hands. <laughs> uh, well, actually I can't say that I don't like drawing hands. I, I actually do like drawing hands, but they are the most challenging part for me to draw, I think. Just to get the right... Uh, angles and like where all the little knuckle bends are and everything. I think the anatomy is just so complex that it, I don't know, you gotta try not to think too much when you're doing it. Because the more you think about it, the more you mess up. <laughs> you gotta turn your brain off, you know? Ah. Oh. This is good. I'm feeling good about this dog. Man, my last uh, my last live stream was just such a hot mess. I'm feeling much better <laughs> this week. You know, sometimes you just aren't having it. You're just having a day and things aren't turning out the way you want them to. Uh, this is not one of those days, thankfully. But I think it's valuable that you all see me struggle too, because, you know, even if you're like a super pro, you still have days where everything is hard. <laughs> you know, we, we all have bad days. Oh, look at this pupper. What a pupper. where your Ali Rike went. It's probably in the storage room at school still. And what's gonna happen is probably that week after Memorial Day, uh, 
when you come in to drop your computers off back at school. I'll have all the artwork sitting out, and then y'all can grab your artwork. Since we won't have an art show. So sad. Getting some nice texture now. Why did I decide to start a YouTube channel? Well, it's kind of a long story. Um, when I was studying to become an art teacher, I had a practicum placement in which I had 36 sixth graders in a class, which was wild. It's a lot of kids. And I was trying to teach them printmaking. So Caden, Printmaking basically is what we're doing in our club where we had those blocks that we carved into and, you know, rub or rolled ink onto them and made little cards and stuff. I was doing that. And basically, I was like, how on earth am I going to demonstrate how to do this to 36 kids and allow them to still be able to see what I'm doing? And so from there, basically, I was like, well, what if I just recorded myself making the, oh, sorry, I got distracted by mixing this paint. Uh, what if I made a video of me demonstrating how to print this and then just projected it instead? And I did. And that's the very first video on my channel. <laughs> it's not very good. There's like no sound. There's no like music there's nothing it's just silent of me printing a lino cut and uh the kids like gave it a standing ovation when i played it and like asked to play it again they were like super pumped about it and we're like what this is on youtube how many views do you have how many subscribers do you have and i was like uh i literally just made this channel like this weekend <laughs> so like none yeah, so it was really funny because I didn't really know anything about YouTube much at that point. This was like 2010. That was 10 years ago. Crazy. Uh, and yeah, and then I like forgot about it for a while. And then I finally got a job teaching. And so I was like, oh, I should make some more videos. And so I went back and looked at my YouTube channel and I had like, 
I don't know, 60,000 views or something on that. And I was like, wait, what? And that was like the only video I had. So it was really weird. And I don't know, it's kind of strange. And then I started making more videos and they were all really bad because I didn't have any equipment. <laughs> didn't know how to like edit things well or set stuff up well. Uh, and from there I decided to do my graduate school research on it. And that's kind of the big one. That's where my most popular videos were made. So all the portraiture videos, like how to draw eyes and nose and all that stuff. Um, I made all of those for my graduate research and then that got really, really popular, which was kind of crazy. You might notice that they have like millions of views, which is nuts. Um, but yeah, I made that for school and then it got really popular. So that's kind of the, the story of my YouTube experience. Caden, I feel like we should be on like a, a news story. You're just interviewing me so well. <laughs> You're bound to be a reporter. It's like my cats know that I'm painting other animals and they're jealous about it. <laughs> they gotta come in and be like, what are you doing? Why aren't you painting a picture of me? I'm so jealous. Is that right, Lapis? Are you jealous? We like to talk back and forth to each other. Oh wow! Are you noisy? Meow meow. Get some more of that blue black goodness. That's another uh how-to tip. Always mix your colors. They're always better when you mix them. They're more interesting than just flat, straight color. I know it's easy just to use stuff out of the tube, but it doesn't look as good. Oh, my poor sad cat is just wandering the house, like, howling. <laughs> I think he's mad because I haven't taken him outside for his walk yet. He's gotten spoiled since I've been working at home. I take him outside, like, every day and walk around the house. Oh, I know. Mama. This cat. Spoiled rotten. Oh, I'm like proud of this dog. It's looking good. What do we got for time? Oh my god, it's almost four o'clock. Ah. See, when I get into painting, I just like can't stop. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so those of you whose animals I am drawing, if you're still watching, uh, if I don't finish them during this live stream, which I probably won't, uh, I will finish them and then I'll mail them to you and then you'll have them forever.
so annoying. But he's so cute, so it's okay. <laughs> oh dear. Um, let's give a few folds in this. Got Jeff here. Lydia, this paint has gemstones in it. So you have gemstones in your painting. Ground up gemstones. It's garnets. Nothing but the best for my students. You get my fancy paint. Okay, Deke, I'm gonna stop with you for now and then finish out again with Ellie. What am I gonna do? Hmm. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna play with my gel pen. Gonna add some little highlights and such in here. Hmm, that's not really standing out that bright. I need a little more contrast, I think. There's just so many little details on here. Well, everybody, it's four o'clock. We've been going for an hour. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is 
finish these up on my own time. And those of you that won the challenge, congrats. Your pets are immortalized. Uh, we'll do the last show through. So we got Dozer, the cat, and Ellie, the lizard, and Deke slash Nico, the pupper. So thank you all for watching. I hope you're all staying safe, staying healthy, and thanks for liking, subscribing, all that jazz. Keep creating. We'll see you next week.